Sometimes you gotta clean your butt, you know? Clean the butt. Mm -hmm. Alright. It's daily time. Great. Wow, we're super on fire. That was successful. on first. Oh, come on, man. How are you doing today? No! I hate the little crystal mine thing. <laughs> that was... That was a way to go. Alright, well, you know what? That's hilarious, though. We just blew our head off. Well, that's how it goes sometimes. Hello, Kurt. Welcome on in. Kurt, did you know that I'm really, really bad at using the little proximity crystal mine things? In case you didn't know, I'm very bad at it. Now you know.
We got snow potion. V. Redeeming the ritual. This hook here. Will snow hook here? No. Let's go ahead. Before this run gets going, we will do a ritual. We have one cat. It is time to bring two cats here. Hello, Bazaggy. Welcome. Welcome, Bazaggy. Zagreus. Zag, you know, you know where you gotta go. You know the rules. And so do I. Zag, you gotta get into your bed. Look at him trying to get at it already. <laughs> He's very impatient. Marks. So, like, anytime you could have gotten, like, anytime I have the, the proximity mine crystal, that could have been rain cloud, that's what you're saying? I feel like it shouldn't be one or the other. They should have just added that as an option. But I mean, that goes hand in hand with my statement before if there should just be like a little bit more variance to the starting items. As I always compare this to Isaac, uh, in Isaac, you can start with almost any item. Uh, that you have unlocked. And I think, you know, it'd be it'd be nice if you could start with way more of the possible spells. Again, with like some sort of some sort of like modifying stat on uh like it's obvious you need a regular like shooty spell. Like in Isaac you can make anything work because you have a basic attack. In this game we don't really have a basic attack. You know, that would be an interesting mod, if that doesn't exist already. A mod that added a basic attack thing to this, so like, uh, like if in front of your wand, so you had your four wand slots, your four potion slots, and then what if in front of your wand slots, you had one more like, uh, thing. It was like a, a, a basic wand that you just always had. Just a theory, but did you name Zagreus after the main character of Hades? <laughs> what? I mean, based on the name of that game, the main character of Hades clearly is Hades. So, no. Doesn't even make sense. <laughs> uh, but no. Uh, yes. He, he, uh... He definitely is primarily named after the Zagreus from hit video game Hades. I mean, technically, you know, you could say after Chthonic, yeah, Chthonic demigod Zagreus. Uh, but that that would be maybe not the entire truth. We do we do love us some Hades? Some mods like that. Yeah, so I just think like a starting, like a little wand here that you could switch to, and it would be kind of a basic, you know, have your kick. Like, it would be something basic, like maybe a little rock throw, but not quite as strong as a tablet. Like, like a little piece of debris. Or, I don't know, something. 
Or maybe it's like the ability to pick up a little piece of ground next to you and throw I, I don't know. I don't know how you'd balance it exactly without just making it one of these spells. But if you made it one of these, maybe it should be like... like it'd be nice if it could be affected by things, so... Apparently Artsy didn't know that I went live. I said I was... Well, I said I wasn't live yet. Artsy knew I started the game. Oh. I should have I should have told Artsy that I was going live now. I was too... too subtle. Artsy should just learn to read my mind all the time. That would be terrifying. But, you know, convenient for communication purposes. Does Bert also have a name story? Uh, yes. Yeah, actually, yeah. So, so Oliver, his original name. So, here's the Oliver origin story. We'll, 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 we'll start from the beginning. Oliver um, was found... Artsy, Artsy does know the train. Artsy knows the train from <laughs> from Oliver to Bert. Uh, but but there's a whole our origin story. So um, Oliver was found as a kitten living under a dumpster under a dumpster uh, at our friend's apartment. Um, actually, he charged in their car. Yes, uh, he was found attacking cars. Uh, he was jumping off of actually the dumpster and buildings at the cars to like land on the front and try and attack them. And then he would like run up to the wheels and start scratching at them like violently. And our friend was like, he's gonna get killed. Yeah, like this. At first they thought it was like, oh, a kitten got out and they were like, gonna wait. You know, figured the owners would want to get the kitten. But then like after two days, they're like, okay, well, okay, they haven't come for the kitten. Uh, so they put some signs up and stuff and. Uh, later found out there was a few kittens. It seems like what happened is probably somebody who had a house cat had their cat had kittens and they waited a couple of weeks until the kittens could be on their own and then it seems like they just dumped the cat kittens like in this neighborhood. Uh, which, you know, pretty messed up. But uh, anyway, so when no no one claimed the cat. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of boys. Oh. One of our friends, uh, do you mind holding up? So one of our friends decided, because it, it was a couple, and, and one of them said, well, we gotta get this kitten because they're gonna get hurt. So they go out there, and the kitten is under the dumpster. They get it out and bring it in. They have a cat who does not like other cats. So... They can't keep the kitten. <coughs> Sorry, Ollie. So they offer the kitten to us. And we take him. We're trying to figure out what to name him. And it's like, well, what if we call him Oscar? Yep. So that's how we got Oscar. We named him Oscar because he was found living in a trash can. And we thought that was a great name. Um, you know what we learned, though, after a week of having Oscar? Uh, we learned that having a cat named Oscar sucks. He was not an Oscar. I mean, he might be an Oscar. He's pretty much a pile of trash, but... Boy. Uh, but, what do you know, you know, when you, like, want to call your cat, you go, like, you know... Like, Oscar the Grouch is not a pile of trash. Oscar the Grouch is a pile of trash, Artsy. Um, so, like... When you want to call your cat, you know, you like to say their name repetitiously. Is that the phrasing of that? Um, saying Oscar really fast is terrible. Here, Oscar, 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 Oscar. It, that's awful. That's, yeah, it's not good. Uh, so, so we were like, hmm, what if we tweak the name to something that's Ollie? What if we tweak it to Oliver, which we can shorten to Ollie? And go here, Ali, 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 Ali. That's that's great. And then, of course, it got out of hand. Yes. So, uh, so then we have Oliver, 
We named him Oliver, which was similar to Oscar, and we could, you know, still kind of have an orphan origin story, you know, like Oscar was trash and Oliver, Oliver is like Oliver Twist. Yeah. So then, uh, you know, from Oliver to Ollie, and then from Ollie to Ollie Burt, and then uh, from Ollie Burt to Burt, and now I call him variants on Burt. I call him uh, as... Oliver as, Reynolds. Yes, Oliver Burt Reynolds. Uh, Oliver, Oliver Burt. The me, all oh my god, I can't even say it right all the time. Bertholomew. Bertholomew, yes, that's a good one. Uh, there's a lot of variants. Okay. This is the zappy one. This one will try and kill me, real good. Yeah, the exactly the repetitious. We learned. We learned that repetitious is good. Or at least being able to make a nickname that's repetitious. Uh, and we did have some discussions on what to name Zags. Yes. So I will say, Zag's name... There's two names that I, that I was fighting for a bit more. A little bit. Uh, I have always wanted to have... And by always, I mean... Um, you can probably guess the number of years. I've wanted to have a black cat named Dormammu. I thought you said a gray. No. Dormammu oh. was for a black cat. Oh. Uh, I think Dormammu is a wonderful cat's name. <laughs> and um, I just think that would be great. So I, I voted for Dorm Dormammu. I also voted for Scytherix the Blight Dragon. Uh, Specifically which... because... Zag is not pure black. He is actually, like, black with tabby markings, which were a lot more vivid when he was a kid. Oh, that has nothing to do with the Skitheris. I don't know why you said specifically oh, because, because that. I thought it was because the the wing markings on his back. No, it's because a black cat named Skitherix the Blight Dragon just seems cool. Oh. <laughs> so. So I thought those were both good. Your cat got the laziest name ever. What is your cat's name? Also, hello, Joyous. Dang. If you had named him Skitherix, he would have been Skittles. Yeah, obviously. Well, Skittles is short is the short name for Skitherix, the Blight Dragon. Your cat is named Kitty, specifically with double D's instead of double T's. Nice, that's pretty good. Here, Kitty. That's fun. You know, I'm walking away from that one wand. I meant to just go under it and see if I could do something about the, the pool of water. I didn't mean to, like, go away. Is this the new daily? <laughs> Dwarf's <fault. laughs> Um, So, Kerr, it is not the daily. I did start the stream with the daily. Um, I did play the daily. I made it very far. I made it about a minute and a half in before dying. It was pretty good. That's how I blew myself up with a mine. I I was trying to I was trying to use a mine to open up the uh little sky island tablet 
area orb, and I accidentally triggered it and then flew into it, and then it blew my head off. It is white water in my, po in my potion. Ended up with about eight homing ones in the first three areas. Oh my gosh, rip. One day, one day I'll not throw away dailies. It's okay. I know that I could probably use this now to maybe do something, but I'm not going to worry about it. Yay! That's that's joint uh, joint uh, the cooperative play. Boom. All right, I think I can grab this without being in the water now, right? Yeah. Mutually playing dailies, I think, is kind of fun. Um, when when I was playing Isaac a whole bunch, uh, there was like a, a thread for the dailies, and I used to always like check the thread, and and uh, if I played the daily early in the day before other people had really played it very much, I would I would post my various findings in the thread, and if I played it later in the day, I would see what other people had found a bit to to see. It was pretty fun. I usually played it before other people did, so I usually, usually, uh, kind of went and saw what I could. It'd be really fun though, because like, <clears throat> Isaac dailies have a kind of issue in that the, the way the rand, there's a random, like, generation that's happening in it, and, um, certain actions that you do progress the seed, and other actions don't, and you can basically progress the seed from, like, um, like, if you decide to break a rock in one room instead of a different room, then you progress the seed that's checking for, like, what should drop from the rock breaks, but it also is affected by the room, so, like, uh, you could just, like, yes, get something, or no, get something. Yeah, that's a whole thing. Oh my gosh, Thunder! Hello, welcome on in Raiders. Thunder, are you doing art? What were you drawing today? Also, we just got a redeem for Burt Pet, so. Oh, Anzac. Uh, let's see here. Is hello Zeldakins, welcome on in. Why do we name Zag if we're gonna do other names? Uh honestly I don't remember. There was just a lot of choosing and we both agreed on Zagreus, so kinda that, that that's just what happened. Naming Like I was fine it, with Zagreus. Yeah, naming uh, it's like naming children. Two yeses, one no. 
I don't you think naming cats is real. the same as children. I know, but that was the first thing I think of. Working on getting more burb night? Nice. I've only seen, I saw like one, one, uh, like I caught a little bit of a stream of you working on that a long time ago. Yeah, both bad. Um, but, but yes, welcome on in everybody. Um, I am Dwarf Woot. You can call me Dwarf or Ryan. Uh, we have two cats here. We have this cat. This is Oliver, a.k.a. Bert. And this is Zagreus, a.k.a. Zaggy. Um, yes. And, uh, they're babies and slugs. They're slug babies. Uh, you have undone redeems for treats, too. Wait, do I have more treats? What? Oh my gosh, how did I miss those? Yes, Zeldakin's redeeming some treats. Alright. Does Bert have thumbs? Uh, he has like normal cat thumbs. He doesn't, he's not, neither are polydactyl. Yeah, been in the work for ages. Motivation to continue getting it done. Uh, for it not to be the silk song of Hollow Knight Custom Kids. Yeah, there's like a handful of people who I know have been working on some Custom Knight skins like off and on for quite a while. And like, I feel like a lot of them, a lot of them got a bunch of motivation, especially this year. So I honestly think that maybe not by the end of the year, but um, I do think in the next few months, we're probably going to see some more skins finish up. Hello, Zagreus. Have you ever gotten treats over here? No, no, you have not. Go back over to your bed where you get treats. Yes, go. You know where you get treats. No, you don't get them over here. Zagreus. Oliver's much smarter. He didn't even fully get oh, up. He knows he's gonna get the treat. Like, yeah. <laughs> but yes, Zelda kids. GG on birthday. I hope you had a wonderful day on your birthday. Um, I don't know if you were still, still doing stuff. But uh, I hope all of the like Mario Kart and stuff went well. I know the Hades looked like it was going pretty well. Ninety-one gifted a tier one sub to Zelda Kinds. They have given forty-five gift subs in the channel. Kerr, thank you for gifting Zelda Kins a sub. Zelda Kins gets all of the wonderful dwarf bino. Number one emo. <laughs> good emo. And a few, there are a few that are pretty good. There yes. are. Is but the dwarf bino. Current winner. Anyway, um, so yes, I'm going to resume Noita. For those unfamiliar with Noita, uh, it is a dwarf dream. Mostly, dream. mostly roguelike game. There are some roguelite elements uh, in it. Um, and it also feels very much kind of like a Metroidvania in how you want to explore the world. But, um, yeah, you play as a little wizard. We are shooting things. Um, I am at the very beginning of a run. Uh, if you end up thinking the game looks interesting, oh, and it's got like a world that's very like Falling Sand or Powdered Toy, powdered toy Machine. I don't remember what that game is called. I played Falling Sand. But, uh, but yeah, um, it's a really cool game. Um, if you think it looks interesting, I recommend you not actually watch and you should just get the game and play it. Uh, eventually we'll get into stuff that's kind of more spoilery feeling, but right now we're just at the very beginning, so it's not really a big deal. Is that a thing? No, that's just fixed. Right now we're looking around, looking for the little beginning of the game upgrade stuff. Um, also, Thundar, if if you were wrapping up stream because you gotta like 
uh, be done for the day that don't feel obligated to stick around. But if you're wanting to hang out, that's always fun too. Uh, how is the skin coming along, by the way? I feel like I should go peek and, and see how it looked at the end of the screen. I haven't, I haven't seen it in like a very long time. Like I feel like you were working on it like a year ago when, when I noticed that there was like a stream for it. I think somebody might have mentioned that you were streaming working on a skin and, and I went and peeked. It's definitely a while back. Trying to get some of the core animations done for movement and attacks. Yeah, that makes sense. It definitely seems really satisfying. Um, like, I've, I've followed along with Minish making a couple of skins now, and then a few other people, like, seeing Artsy uh, post updates on, like, Zag Knight and stuff. Um, but, like, it seems like getting the, the very core movement stuff done is, like, a very nice... Uh, barrier to pass, like like being able to walk around and stuff in the game, and uh, and like have it look like the skin is done more or less, like because you you've done the the early stuff. Putting together a milestone list. Try and hold myself accountable and getting what I set done. Oh, that seems like a nice, nice idea. Like being able to like get something so you can see deadlines because that whole yeah, last minute deadline is very good, very powerful. Uh, for, for what it's worth, uh, uh, Artsy, Artsy is, uh, also streaming. And Artsy, Artsy and I do often stream and talk back and forth. Artsy is, uh, has a lot of, a lot of suggestions on, on ways to kind of keep accountable for when they were working on Zag Knight. Um. Or at least, like, Artsy's kind of workflow for it. Oh no, oh no, please don't attack me, slime person. No. Oh no, this got worse. This got worse. Oh god, we're getting murdered. Okay, we might just get murdered here. Wow, this is a terrible place to be. This is not good. Oh jeez. This is just the opposite That's of what good. a lot of acid. Yeah, don't, don't be in that position. Don't, wow. That was terrible. Cornered. Rip indeed. One of the fun things about this game is that um, you can save little gifts. I, it it uh, it automatically automatically like captures a replay. Well, like you can enable it to basically be constantly recording. And it saves like the last X amount of time, depending on what your setting is. So mine's like 16 seconds or something like that. Um, so it just constantly records 
And then you can press one button to pull up the recording at any time. Or when you die, it automatically lets you pull it up. Um, so you get this nice little death replay thing. And then later, you can just kind of look through and see all of your dumb deaths. All the times you fucked up. It's great. Oh, we start with pheromone. Acid boys are rude. That was rude. do that. There's, why are there so many acid boys recently? You, you all go away. Why? What have I done to upset the acid lords? Acid lords. Lord of acid. interesting because like I've seen this area before this ah it's on fire oh god I don't think pheromone puts out the fire oh no oh geez this is not good um can we be on not on fire please 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 blood yes excellent thank you blood um but like normally these little areas with the the bricks around like I mean there's like some kind of like oh little thing going on here 
But this one just has a pile of coal, and there's like nothing in the coal as far as I can tell. It's very rude. A oh, weird, interesting thing. I wish we could stop, drop, and roll. We only got kick. There's no roll. And we just need to get wet. We need to be wet so that we are not on fire. But being wet with, like, pheromone apparently isn't the good wet. We need either water or blood. Those are the good wets. It's okay, because now we have a green tablet. And green tablets are heavy and good for bonking people. That, ah, that. Ah. Oh no, we missed. Ah. Quit. Quit sliming me. No. Why do we have so much slime on us? Ah, we have 11 health and, like, no money. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. That's a lot of, that's a lot of poly potion everywhere. Oh my god. That dude stole a wand that shoots bombs. Where did the wand go when you died? You stole a wand. Wh where did you leave it? You died like right here. I didn't see where your corpse went though. Oh. Well, now we fly in cheap. There's two max health up, so close. Oh, nice, we can get to this one. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Oh no, it's big acid boy. Jesus Christ, oh God, no, we can't die this way again. I mean, we can die this way again, but I don't want to. Okay, I want to get that wand. Nope. Oh! We were too close to the bomb. Hmm. 
That's the second time today I've blown myself up. And I've only been streaming for like less than an hour. This is what I get for playing games when I get home from work. <laughs> okay, okay. New game plan. We try to get farther than the first area and we don't blow ourselves up. I think I think that's going to that's going to do good. I think that's a good plan. It is a me car bomb moment. The other way I blew myself up was honestly kind of similar. I I placed a like proximity mine spell down and then um accidentally kind of walked into the mine. Oh wait, it's the proximity mine spell. Okay. Warning, I'm going to do something that you could consider slightly spoilery, depending on your definitions of spoilers. Uh, because I have this. Oh, don't do that. Worse digging than bubble spark. It true. Okay, now here's the question. Can I manage to do this without... Yes, there we go. Ah! I oh, know, I need to be able to get higher. No, no. Oh wait, what did I stand up? I did. We can stand here. Oh, that's oh. That was the wrong wand. I had the wrong wand equipped. I. I thought I had my lightning bolt wand. <sighs> my corpse just triggered another proximity mine. Amazing. Rip. Uh, amazing. Okay, again, less than one hour. That is the third time I've blown myself up so far. Uh, and we got cornered in the hallway. I'm just on a roll right now. Big bomb, so we're not gonna try and go up. Which is probably good. Oh, why is there so much oil here? The air feels light. I don't think I've ever had this effect. So sometimes when you enter the, the like starting area, Sometimes uh, you have an effect, and if you have an effect, it like gives you a message to indicate what that effect is. Um, I have not had this one though. 
I don't know what the air feels light uh, does. Not asking what it does, but I am. This is interesting. We'll have to let's see if we can figure out what this is doing. Green tap. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Out. We got green tablet, which is nice. Nice to throw that at people. We can start earning some money. They make a little biting animation. I've never noticed that animation. I've only ever noticed them lunging at me. Amazing. Levitation potion is really good. Um, we actually might go do some other stuff now that we have this. Okay. Um, do I even keep exploring there? No, I think I just... Uh, so levitation potion lets me go some areas that are not here. Matter of fact, it lets me go to even more quote-unquote spoiler areas. Uh, that we're just gonna go to. It's... I don't see any reason not to. I still have my tablet. I left my tablet in there. My tablet is in the burning pool of toxic waste. Hmm. Okay, be good. Oh, 
I want this health, please. Please give me this health. Hold on. Is that actually going into the ground at all? Maybe? Ah! We're on fire. Turn around. I think that I thought that one part of what I saw above the ground was a different part. You're very jumpy. for the raid. I hope you have a wonderful sleep. If you're a person that has dreams, I hope they're wonderful dreams. And good luck on your quest to make Bird Knight. it's like a valid strategy to try and like get them to shoot at you from here so that you can break the thing. Come on, you gotta shoot the sh yeah, shoot those so that they can break so they can explode them. I don't want that broken though. No, no, no! You assholes. You monsters.
What's up, Oliver? Hi, ah, baby boy. Me. What the hell? I was like, Zach really wants to be up there. Since when is there a bridge here? Oh. Well, it's a broken bridge, but there's a bridge. I've never seen a bridge here. Zag found a little, like, kind of skeeter eater thing flying up in the corner of the ceiling. And he just knocked over a ton of stuff off a shelf in an attempt to get to it. Which, of course, it just flew away, because that's what they do. And now he's gonna try to go after it and continue to knock all my shit down. His classic cat. You know, I didn't consider that he could take that. Oh god. Oh, we're filling with water. This is terrible. Crap. This is... No, no, no! This is very unfortunate.
You know, bombs have really been a theme of tonight. And by which I mean, it's been terrible. Uh, bombs are awful. Okay, I think we're almost safe with the water, maybe not really. Uh... Can I throw this and have it keep doing this for me? Yes. All right, all right, I think this'll, this'll keep us safe. We should be able to do stuff now. Let me pick up the yellow. Let me get to the yellow, please.
ました。I feel like I'm missing a second yellow, unless there's only one yellow, and a second green, unless there's only one green.
Now. Oh, hi little buddy. Bye little buddy. I have vision in there. I mean, you know, I'm all about having vision in there. Wait, hold on, do I just have, like, vision on the tree? Wait a second. I don't have vision in this other area, do I? No. Okay. Weird. I don't know why I have vision into this area, then. Like, this area should be hidden, but for some reason I can see it.
Dang, I thought we'd be in the little mine area by now. I was like, haha, I'll make a little shortcut. We are in fact making a long cut. So we got these things from uh, a store the other day. It is a pumpkin pie ice cream sandwich. Oliver, you cannot have it. Zagreus, you cannot have it. Nope. Queen, and it's true, them do well. Also, like, I know pack cats and dogs both, I think, like pumpkin a lot, so. Why is this taking so long to dig down here? Yeah, I'm pretty sure pumpkin is a, is a good, like, cat dog treat. So, specifically, if you are going to give, like, cats and dogs pumpkin, it's got to be, like, pure pumpkin puree. Not, like, like, it can't be, uh, you know, mixed with stuff. I don't know. I mean, they also love like sweet potato. I know they're having some. Got like the cats having a new stool. Okay. I'm gonna fight them. That could be. It could be. So like, you can give it to them like specifically like medically because of fiber, but it could be that like. They could have essentially de 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 evolved a taste for it because of literally for for fiber and stuff. Like you gotta make sure, you gotta make sure you're regular. Why, why did I come right back here? Oh, I came back here because I want to get the health up that's down here. I should have done this last though. We need to go get the other health ups.
We have like two other health ups to go get. Weird eyeball, less than ideal digging. That's true. Uh, I don't plan on using it for long-term digging. It doesn't even go through like the uh, the extremely dense materials. I don't think five more fireballs is gonna get up to this health, which is kind of a shame. Can I ball? Oh snap, eyeball can do it. Come on, I just need a tiny bit more dug out for that to fall. Ding 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 Yes! Yes. Okay, tablet, are you about to fall? Well, I'm sure it's fine. Fish, quit, fl get back in the water. Look at these splines. Splines is a geo geology term, right? Oh, I think it's a geometry term. It's a math term. Oh. I'm pretty sure. I don't know what a spline is. I, I thought it was like a... Geology term. It sounds I don't think it's That dude it's just nice. like dissolved in the ground. Oh my god, this is. This is orb room. Okay. This is the orb room that is like right. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh. Frick. It is a man. Ah. Levitation potion, I love it. 
It's a special function and you can find these wise by polynomials. Polynomial, that's what happens when you don't give your pair enough snack. It becomes a polynomial. The term spline is used to refer to a wide class of functions that are used in applications requiring data interpolation and or smoothing. Got smooth to that data. You gotta smooth it. You don't want rough edge data. We are talking about splines, aren't we? Brooke brought it up. Yeah, Rook. Rick... And yes, I'll say say it again in case anyone wonders why I occasionally respond back to Artsy, even though seemingly there's no Artsy voice. That is because Artsy is also streaming, and uh, they are playing Magnum Opus. Did I say it right this time? So I mix the name up a lot. Do you have a command for Artsy? Or... I probably. I feel like I made a command for Artsy. It's too much thinking, Artsy. Don't think about it. Hmm. <sighs> Part of me thinks I should leave my levitation potion here so that I can pick up this tablet. Queen, I unfortunately died before I got to do much with it. So, my theory with Healing Bolt is that I need a Bouncy Spell... Oh! Bouncy Spell run was my 24-hour run. We died 24 hours into it. Um. Yeah. Uh, I was exploring the sky and there is an enemy... There's an enemy in the sky that bleeds the polymorph potion, and uh, they bled on us as I was shooting them with my homie bouncy death balls, and uh, we turned into an enemy from the poly potion, and so my homing shots turned around and came back to me and murdered me. It was, uh, quite the way to go. Polymorphine is the great equalizer. It's true. Whenever we get this layout like this, so, like, these are, like, three, two or three different assets. Like, this is one. I think this whole chunk might be one. But, like, they come together a lot sometimes, and it makes me wonder if there's, like, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like they should signify something. But I'm not sure if they do. Zeldikins, where were you earlier? Do you know how many times I've died this stream? God, uh, you should have reminded me not to die an hour and a half ago. I've blown myself up like six times. Also, bleeding polymorphine is wild. It is. It is a, a very rude trait for an enemy to have. It's especially rude because of how the clouds in this game work. Because, like, uh, 
the clouds, you, you know how like the engine works, right? With the, you know, like the water, everything, every pixel like interacts and stuff. So the clouds are like their own material. And like if you shoot them with certain things, they kind of vaporize into like cloud steam. But then the cloud steam re-solidifies into like cloud again. Um, and it just makes a whole mess. I kind of understand they wanted clouds to be Once like again, uh, solid, but it is terrible. Oh, Sorry, is opening presents and eating ice cream. All right, that's fair. You know what? With all the kids, I forgive. Oh, hi, tablet. No, no, can we follow the tablet? No, tablet, don't vanish. I'm here for you. Tablet, I love you. Tablet. Tablet. Baby, come back! Ooh, you can blame it all on me. Tablet, come back! Nope, we lost the tablet. That's okay. Um, also, Queen, I did see that redeem. I will, will do that one second. Ice cream cake, as in ice cream was inside the cake. Nice. I do like ice cream cake. Um, I really like the Dairy Queen ice cream cakes. Also, the cold stone ones are pretty good. The cold stone ones, I don't think, are better enough than the Dairy Queen ones to be, like, worth how much more they cost. They are good, though. Um, I'm a huge sucker for ice cream cake. I wish we had more freezer room because, like, ice cream cakes from various places, uh, they, they go on sale every now and then. And I'm like, oh, I could just buy an ice cream cake. Like, I'm an adult, and I have the ability to just buy an ice cream cake. But the problem is, um, I don't have the freezer room to keep it. So, if we're gonna buy an ice cream cake, we gotta have, like, people over or something so that we could just eat an ice cream cake. Because we can only store, like, a quarter of an ice cream cake. Oh, I wanted to go this way. I want to go over here to get this health up. Twas the cold stone cookie dough one. Nice. The Goldstone ones are good. I didn't want that to sound like, like, I didn't think they are good. It was more of just, like, a... They're not They're so not, yeah, bad. there's, like, there's, like, levels, you know? Like, thresholds. Like, I'm always, like, I, I... If I just want, like... Unless it's certain flavor that I want. Then I'm like, ah, oh, Derek, he wants. My stepmother, actually both of my stepmothers. I have lots of mothers. This is some dwarf lore. <laughs> I have a lot of mothers. Uh... Both of my step Both of my stepmothers have uh, have made ice cream cakes and multiple times actually. And every time it was great. They all turned out arguably incorrectly for what they were going for. But uh like they were pretty good. Like every single time. One of them, the first one that uh, that I had that was homemade, was essentially they were like to offset it. They were they the cake was thicker. It was kind of more like brownies, so it was kind of like layers of brownies and ice cream interwoven, and that was awesome. I'll stop by for ice cream cake anytime. I mean, you know, I don't remember if you're in Washington or not, but like, heck. Ice cream cake day. The goodness to price ratio is lower than DQs. Yes, that's Queenside. That's a good. That is a good way to put it. Yes, exactly. Like like the Cold Stone ones are better, but uh, but like the price doesn't scale accordingly. I am in Washington. Oh my gosh, samezies. I live in I live in Lacey. Hashtag Washington Gang, indeed. Yeah, lots of people. There's a lot of a lot of people in like this this general community and like the Hollow Knight community that uh, and the Northwest. the smaller yeah, I mean not even just Pacific Northwest but uh, but like specifically Washington. Although yeah, obviously if you open it up a bit more. Mm -hmm. Almost white center. I'm not sure off the top of my head where that is. That sounds like it's probably north, though. 
How far away from Seattle are you? I mean, how far away from Seattle are you is like... I mean, there's so many places around Seattle. <laughs> I'm in Seattle! Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, White Center must be in Seattle. <laughs> I, I avoid Seattle <laughs> most of the time. Uh, Seattle, Seattle just stresses me out so much. I go there occasionally, but cities, cities stress, the, stress me the heck out. Like, Lacey has grown so much over the last 10 years that it's almost... I mean, obviously, it's not city-city, but it's just it's so... The, same the population density has just gotten so high compared to what it was. White Center's a town bordering Seattle. Okay, that makes sense. blown myself up like times i think that was supposed to be like six times we'll try it as though it were that too i've blown myself up like six times <laughs> could meet Z bert and zag in person it's true Queen, the six might have been missing, but that's okay. You know what? I I knew it was supposed to be there. I would have, you know, you gotta, you gotta go for what you know is meant for, right? Ah. That's true. The value, the value of two versions. We got some unstable potion up there. Always connect down here. Let's find out. Basically, I don't think this thing is through this, right? No. Zeldikins, thank you for reminding me not to die. We're gonna try very hard now. Now that there's been reminders. We're gonna we're gonna do our ding dangest to not die. Give Bert a treat. We do that. We could give that Bert a treat. We would probably appreciate it. He's like, you said my name? We did say your name. Excuse me, one of you is Oliver and one of you is not Oliver. Hello, Oliver. Hello, no, no, not Oliver. Excuse me, excuse me. 
Excuse me. Yeah, Hot enough to instantly evaporate water, but does not give off light. Give Zagatry, wow. Alright, alright, not Oliver. You apparently get a treat too. Excuse me, do you ever get the treats right here? No. No, you never do. I excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Where do you get treats? No, you don't get them there either. That is my keyboard. No, stop. I excuse me, excuse me. Good sir. Good sir. Kindly return to your seat. Good sir. Good sir. Thank you. Thank you. No. There we go. The demon has been quelled with a treat, it's true. This this is the max house, right? Yes. Hello, Kurt. Welcome back. Cam is still frozen. Oh, it is. Oh, my gosh. Frozen Oliver staring at you, camera. I think it's kind of funny that we actually don't have very much money right now. We're like pretty low on money. We do have a bunch of health ups though. Like, we have 200 health, so that's pretty, pretty chonky. Um, we should go down in the portal. I would really kind of like more than just 400 money. That's big frog. Broken wand, which we now know we can do things with. a nice little chunk of money. Put us up to 690. Oh! Oh no! Burn fire! Uh, aha! We're not dead. Nice. Boom! That's excellent. <laughs> Queen, I appreciate that. That is a... Uh, that... That is a very difficult thing. Uh, that's like a whole thing that comes up, right? Like, uh, you know, it's like the uh, asking asking if you know about X as a spoiler because, like, that's incidentally spoiler. And then, like, 
like there's so many questions that are leading questions that are like, wait a second, if you're asking that, that must mean there's more to it type thing. Like, that is 100% why I wish Twitch supported some sort of spoiler chat on Twitch itself, which is like part of what made me want the whole Twitch channel connected to a Discord thing. But then it turned out that using that specifically for spoiler stuff was actually not not beneficial. I, but anyway, um, so what what it is, what it is that I've learned, I had a realization. I was trying to think of a... You do not know what you did, Broken One. Oh, it's going to be map time. I guess Queen, Queen, you're you're okay with spoilers, right? I think so. Queen's been watching. Queen's been watching like a bunch of playthroughs. But I guess that's a that's a question then. Like, I mean, it would be spoilery in terms of like like stuff. I I assume Queen's okay with it. But we're gonna we're gonna go with that. So in the uh, TC base, I believe is what it's called. I'm just going to call it military base. I'm probably never going to update this game. Maybe one day I'll update it. But for now, it's just military base. In this base, there is a part right here that literally always generates. Um, I realized I realized at one point that this was probably important. At, at first I was like, just change it to... That's so good. Okay, I will probably do that at some point. That, that's A++. <laughs> so, when I first noticed it, that it was there like more than one run, I, I decided to like, you know, put it on there. It's like, looks kind of like an anvil, anvil question mark. We'll put it as notable. And then, and then I noticed like it definitely was there. It's there so much that the game like carves out part of the wall to force it to be there if like the generation doesn't work right. Um, so I was like, okay, this must be important. Um, so the first thing I tried to do with it is I tried to, it, it looked like maybe it needed powered on. So I tried to put electricity on it, right? I was like, okay, that'll power it. But that didn't do anything. So then I kind of off and on, like, when I go to bed a lot of times, like, you know how you lie in bed and you think about stuff? Well... A lot of times when I'm playing a game a lot, I think about things to do in the game. So playing this, I think about Noita a lot and just trying to think of things to do in Noita, you know, as going to bed thoughts. And so my thoughts one night were, were just, what else could you do with the anvil? Like, if you have something that looks like an anvil, what do you do with an anvil? And then I was thinking about in a lot of games, anvils are what you use to repair stuff. You know, an anvil is for like, smithing something, creating something, or repairing things. And this section notably... This section notably came after this section. So we get, we get a broken thing here, and then the next area we get an anvil, which is a place to like fix things. So I decided to uh, Originally bring the broken spell that we get from here. I circled the broken eye, but really we get the broken spell that I care about um, But anyway, so I, I took the broken spell that we got from here and brought it to here and sure enough the anvil fixed the spell So then I was like holy crap What if it fixes other things that are considered broken? And then I went and found a broken wand and brought it back here, and sure enough, it will repair the wand and give you a wand from it. I haven't tested yet if the wand it gives you is the same, like, wand that is clearly, like, broken, because when you throw a broken wand, it, like, shoots a projectile. Um, but the wand that I picked up and, like, put on the anvil, I didn't throw before I did that, so I had no idea what it would shoot. So I don't know if it gives you a random wand, or if it literally gives you the broken wand um, that's fixed, but but either way, that's uh, that's what I figured out it does so far. 
Surprise you went for fixing and not upgrading or refining. So, I think maybe if, like... If I thought there was upgrading stuff, maybe... The problem is, I'm, I tend to think about things as game mechanics. And, like, in a lot of games, anvils are used for repairing. Like, repairing is like a, like a, 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 a like a flag. Like, or like, anvils are like a, like a flag to say, ah, repairing stuff here. At least in Minecraft and in, like, Valheim and, I don't know, similar, similar games. Is D3 Dark Souls 3, or is that Diablo 3? But, uh... I played very little Diablo 3. I did play Diablo 3. I Technically, I guess, I did play through the original, like, base campaign. Played a lot of Diablo 1 and Diablo 2. Did not play remasters of either. I assume there was remaster 1. I know there was remaster 2. to work with here. Kind of want all seeing eye. I, I do always have an issue with like spells that I have to recharge though. Like I don't want to put them on a main wand because I don't want that wand to run out and I don't want to have like like I'll have to throw away the other things. So it's like hmm. That's true. That's true. It's very beneficial in upcoming zones. Let's see what uh, things we have. More hatred. Dying creatures leave behind a spirit that deals damage. Okay. I kind of want mournful spirit. We haven't had mournful spirit yet. Telekinetic kick. So, I have thoughts on this. I've taken telekinetic kit multiple times. Um, I think telekinetic kick is powerful. The problem is, it also feels very gameplay warping in a way that I don't think I actually want. Like, like pulling stuff to you is cool, but like, I want my regular kick. Um, I don't know. It, and it, it's, it's. I think it's mostly a me thing. Like, it's, it's a once I know I have it, I start playing differently, and I don't necessarily want to play like that. So I'm gonna go with this. Mm, telekinetic kick, redacted, 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 redacted. Interesting. I see you've been playing a lot of Hades. One day, one day maybe I'll have 100% holiday achievements. I know that I'll never finish Pantheon 5, but I don't think you need Pantheon 5 for that. But also, I have yet to finish Pantheon 4. 
My file is 111% because I've never finished Pantheon 4. I mean, I've never beat Pure Vessel, so, like, there's that. But then I'm like, Chainsaw. What, you do need Pantheon 5? Oh my gosh. Alright, well... I didn't think there was an achievement for Pantheon 5. So... Heck. That's never happening. What I'm trying to decide is if... I just... I think we're just gonna skip all seeing eye for now. I don't want to skip it, but I also don't want it on a wand that I'm just gonna throw away. And like, I do want both of these wands right now. So, eh. Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Put it on a wand that you, you throw it. I guess it's fair. Like, I guess that's one way to think about it. Like, oh, I, I think if I didn't already have a teleport wand, then it wouldn't have bothered me. What bothered me is having, like, three wands. I don't know. Like, I just, I didn't, didn't want, I really didn't want a, a wand that was just to throw away with an ability on it. Because what if... What if I find that other thing really fast? Yeah, I played the I played the original uh, uh, the original Cookie Clicker. I don't think was was it Ask? Oh, you know what? I think maybe it was Ask. I definitely played the original one, um, and then I played the the more modernized version uh, that's still just a browser game, like a few years ago. Tori and I, Tori and I got real into Cookie Clicker for like probably six months. We did a lot of Cookie Clicker for, for a while. Um, <clears throat> and then I stopped having it open. I, I kind of stopped because um, I didn't want to have it open while I was doing some other stuff all the time. So I started getting in the habit of closing it. And then, like, you know, I was like, all right, well, I don't need to play Cookie Clicker. And then Horny had it corrupt. Like, it has, like, a... We have a small chance they recommend you make backups of it because, like, it can kind of corrupt sometimes. And Torny's corrupted, so I was like, "Well, no, didn't didn't really feel like starting a new run after like six months of playing a run." I was like, "Ah, oh, I've gotten the Halloween one, I got the Christmas ones, and it's all gone. Fuck that." Bought the Steam version, transferred browser save, and instantly got like 590 Chivos. Amazing.
Didn't update, added 50 achievements, and you were livid. Rip. This dude has lots of teleport bolt. We already have teleport bolt, so is this one better? This one is not better than anything. And I don't really need two teleport bolt, I don't think, so we're good. Got 30 just from booting up, nice. It is kind of fun um, when games like do an update and then they add achievements for things that like uh, you could have done, and especially like if it's things they were already tracking. Um, it's happened in a few games I've played where like things things were being tracked, but they, there was no achievement for it, and then uh, like achievements get added for those things because why not? And then yeah, you just like you go to play after that update and you're just like boom, you've done this. I am one of those suckers for Chivos. I love Chivos. I love going out and getting Chivos that are unnecessary. I enjoy it too, which is why I've gotten almost every plate of Chivo. Uh -huh. So, uh... So, I don't know. I think, ah! That's not what I thought it was holding. Uh, goodness. Uh, goodness gracious. But yeah. Yeah, you! My arch nemesis! I want my tablet. Kurt, it kills me. It kills me that you post the links with the, uh, the, like, time, time thing, uh, that Discord recently added. Not timestamp, but, like, it's a, it's like an access key. But the access key, like, stuff isn't activated yet. And even when it is activated, it might only apply to the API. Discord hasn't really made that clear. I know, so, no, that is, that is the way, I just, <laughs> I trim it out. <laughs> I, it's unreasonable for me to think that everyone would go and trim out the extra part. But, like, I'm like, ah, oh, this person, this person should know that they could just trim that off. <laughs> I guess more specifically, it kills me when anyone does it, but I was surprised that <laughs> that you didn't remove it. Yeah, everything, everything after the, uh, so what is it, dot .png and then a question mark? Yeah, is that token. I mean, eventually you might have to leave them. It's really annoying that Discord still hasn't made that clear. It's also really annoying that, like, Discord had made that happen when, like, it doesn't matter and probably won't matter until next month or next year. Okay, let's open up our run notes to help my achievements get away. Alright. 
Oh, it's scary acid bugs. Okay. Um. I feel like I heard about the WoW changes. The WoW changes are supposed to, like... I, I forgot... What are they supposed to do? Like, is it supposed to make, like, the people who make a bunch of extra accounts not have those accounts function right or something? I heard about WoW doing big changes, and I do not remember what all the changes are supposed to do. Oh, crap. I've been I've been blinded and hit I think the first time I was blinded I was also hit by Telly. I definitely lucked out where I teleported to though. I teleported to like a safe spot, so I just waited there. I don't like Big Frog. Big Frog. No! Bad Big Frog! No! No! I think the little spirits instantly kill the- oh, oh, oh gosh, uh. oh, scary. Um, anyway, I was gonna say, I think the little spirits were instantly killing the, uh, the little spawnlings of that enemy, which was cool. Blind plus polymorphy. I mean, at least you can see that you're a sheep, right? You! No! Okay, it's gonna pop back up, right? Those little spirits do a crap ton of damage. Holy heck. But you, blue is the person that I switch with. If I shoot you, I get over there. Um. Can I like, ah! Holy fuck! Jesus Christ! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hold on! Hold on! We need it! Oh my gosh! Okay! Hold on! Hold on!
Okay. A toilet teleport probably saved you. Uh, definitely saved Dwarf is reach salvation. Definitely not salvation, no. Oh. I am so glad we gotta get so much max HP up though. Like the fact that we still have a hundred health right now is pretty nice. And Salvation is just the state of being saved. Hmm. Why? That was just spiteful. Oh god, if we touch that and then touch the fire, we're dead. Okay. That's a thing. Eventually we need to see if we can learn how, if we can mix chaotic poly with something to dissolve it. Because that would be really nice. Oh. Hold on, I have to look at something. One moment. Oh my god! Wait. Okay, I'm back. Fruno! How are you doing, Fruno? Will you please stop spraying toxic sludge everywhere? That's very rude. It's disrespectful. It's basically littering. Please bleed elsewhere. Fruno, are you doing the classic Fruno go around, lurk everyone, stop by, say hi? Artsy, Fruno is wonderful because Fruno goes and points out things that people don't notice when streaming. Fruno, 10 out of 10 person. They are fantastic. Using acid ball to dig is smart, right? That seems smart. Artsy thinks I'm gonna somehow ever end Noita. I don't know if that's gonna happen. There's still so much to do. Yeah, it's like if you were gonna play till you hit credits, you would have stopped by now. True. Endless, endless long time. So am 
Artsy, Artsy is wondering um, what the goal of the game is, or Artsy is saying that they that they uh, don't know what the goal of the game is. Artsy, Ar no yeah, Artsy doesn't understand. I don't know what the goal of the game is. That's the fun right now. I'm trying to learn how. I I don't. I'm learning the world. The goal is to learn what the fuck is going on in this game. There are more Noita seeds than there are stars in the observable universe. I believe that. Did not fact check it. <laughs> I, I mean, I still believe it though. Hmm. Artsy thinks I should take a break. So I actually was thinking about taking at least a one-day break to possibly do a Hollow Knight rando. Uh, maybe not even a whole one-day break, though. I kind of want to take, like, a three-hour break. Three-hour break. <laughs> ah! 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 Oh, no. Oh, no. We've been tentacled. Please don't tentacle me. Oh no, that was very unfortunate. Oh, oh no. Oh no, we're frozen on top of electricity. <laughs> uh, Artsy doesn't think I can finish a rando in three hours, and that's probably true. Uh, it's gotta be like area blitz or something. For, for what it's worth to Artsy, I'm pretty sure that Minish was saying that it's not hard to have numbers bigger than the observable uh, stars in the universe. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see what happens. My weekend technically starts now. Like now, today is my Friday night, so maybe. What? No. <laughs> Eventually, play transistor. Maybe play trans. Maybe maybe take Noida break to play transistor. There are more chainsaws by about 10 chainsaws of magnitude. Wow. There's a wand there. I want that wand. Oh. Ah, no, it did. I was going to say, I was going to be very disappointed. Ah! Double audio. Okay. I was going to be very disappointed in my, uh, uh, Twitch not telling me that I was a raider. But. Okay. Oh, is one of the cameras not working? Yeah, blue. Uh, classic. It got wiggled. It got wiggled and now it's being stubborn. 
<laughs> there we go. But hello, Artsy. Welcome in. How was Marble Game? I know how Marble Game was. It was pretty good. Currently just finished covering yourself in a giant pit of glue. Her that hmm. Hmm. There are more galaxies in the observable universe than Noita seeds. Hmm. I believe that, but I also know that, like, we definitely get to... We get to, like, uh... Really large... Like, you can get to really large number numbers that are, like, absurdly bigger than things in observable universe. Uh... Okay. What? Artsy, you were definitely playing Marble Game. What? I, I'm so confused. I was watching. I don't know what Sigma is going to Right? Noida seeds are only 10 digits. Ah, interesting. That's Ambrosia. We want the Ambrosia. Oh gosh, we took a lot of damage. Oh my goodness gracious. We might need to get out of here. We didn't really get anything. Uh, good. Oh, Sigmund's Garden is the solitaire game within Opus Magnum. The main character, Frank, he trying to call it Marbles. I see, I see. I'm gonna call it Marble Game now. I don't want that guy to kill me. What if I just jump like this? Oh god! Uh. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I think we're safe. I think we're safe. We need to go to the next area and heal now. We need to heal. Boom! Heal. Oh, we got we got some stuff. Oh, we got home. Oh my gosh! I also got lightning bolt, which I love.
Homunculus. Get more critical hits. Toxic immunity. I will always take immunity. I could take glowing lance. I mean, it's like. We don't have, like, chainsaws or multi but Like, I don't have anything to make a wand really good, I feel like. So I might need to rely on something like that. Let's see. Five damage. I think this seems like it's good. Interesting, I think the invisibility is, like, bringing down the color a bit. Kind of a muted look. Could take Giga Black Hole. I kind of feel like we might need Giga Black Hole. I think we might need that over our slime balls. Hello, Bucky! What's going on, right? How are you doing today?
I real quick want to see how chunk of soil works. I've never taken it before. I'm like I had the money too. Oh my god! It just puts a, it just puts a chunk of soil there. Sorry, hold on one second. I had to had to go steal first. Colette just been live. Had to go get the first. It's very important. Chunk of soil places a chunk of soil. How unpredictable. It's true. I, you know, I wasn't sure what I was expecting. I feel like there's some sort of silly nonsense you could do with this, and I don't know what it is. I mean, I guess you could keep using it to date, like, to go upwards. That's something. Doing well, looking forward to chi to chilling with Noit at nights. Well, it is pretty chill right now. Look at our little fish. These are our little fish buddies. Do we think we're strong enough to deal with the consequences of our actions if we don't go through there? I think so. I think, I think, I think we are. I think this is maybe a bad idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. Whoa. That is not what I thought that was gonna do. Howie. Uh, it does. It's only only six uses. Ow. So, regular black hole, like, shoots forward. I thought giga black hole was also going to shoot forward. So I didn't realize I was going to need more than one shot to do that. That's okay. There we go. And we've taken a lot of incidental damage. Well, like, I guess that wasn't incidental damage, but... We've taken a lot of damage I was not expecting to take so fast. There we go. Let's just go get... A sniper! Wow. Okay, a sniper just tried to kill me and killed another sniper, I think, is what just happened. Sniper, no sniping, exactly. That's pretty nice. A little, a little burst with one of them being electric. Seems useful.
Ow, quit shooting me. Thank you for reminding me not to die. Try and keep that in mind when I'm in this dangerous area. Kurt, thank you for reminding me not to die. Hello, the question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, huh, it's glowing lance. Yes, glowing lance. I guess I don't really need to go in here. I... So in here we have a magical note that, like, I thought it was arrow. The magical note, I think it said it's supposed to help us here or something like that. Oh, that's not good. Excuse me. I don't remember asking you to be up here. You could shoot this open for me, though. That would be kind of cool. You... Can I uh, get you to do that reasonably? Probably not. Yeah, it seems like a really good way to, like, die. regular black hole. A bunch of regular black holes is probably better than my one giga black hole, I feel like. It's true, we could use the gigas up. I could use a Giga to open up the one thing.
I did take this tablet. I know you don't. There's a delay. But I did. I took it before you suggested it, though. Ah! Ah! Who was shooting me? Excuse me, stop that! Sir, I'm gonna need you to knock that the fuck off. Yeah. Invisible person shooting me, stop. Large spitter bolt with timer. We don't have anything with timers right now. So that might be worth taking. The puppets get mastered by me. I am the puppet master. I need to go into a big old, like, uh, super villain monologue that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Ha 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 ha. You see what I did there? I said what you said in the thing. <laughs> oh, I am the puppet master! It is me! I am the puppet master! The puppets get mastered by me! <laughs> oh yeah! My chainsaws are falling off. Oh no. Poor chainsaws. This is the first time I've been near a candle and a torch. Come on. Can I light the candle? I'm so sad that this isn't working. I have been like hoping to not accidentally destroy a candle and have the torch ability for so long. And you're telling me this doesn't work? I don't even think I'm melting the wax. This... This is... Very upsetting to me. I was sure... I was sure that this was gonna be a thing. Like, I could somehow light these candles. Also, yes, our wand, uh... The, the lances really, really send enemies flying.
Oh, interesting. Oh, the note vanished. Hmm. That's not ominous at all. Any, any messages in here? It doesn't look like it. Well, I might have just destroyed the note. I thought... I didn't think that was destroying... I mean, I guess it... Like, it didn't destroy the wand earlier. But it might have destroyed the note. So... Now you know. By you, I mean I. Yes. Now we know. Together, we know. Toxic mist. If you stand in it, then you'll feel pissed. Toxic mist. Avoid it, it seems like it's always here. Toxic mist. See, we have a butts new butt spot word. Aren't you toxic immune? You know what? We are toxic immune. That would explain why I keep being so lucky about not taking damage when I step in toxic puddles. That's making a lot of sense now. All skill. It is all skill. It's oh, there's been a big worm through here. Ooh. Yeah. Ah, that there. That there is signs of a big worm. Big worm's been through here. Queen, would you like it to be to be that, that instead? I will I will change it if, if you would like that to be changed. That like, you know, that didn't exist a second ago. So it's like you would. Okay, we will switch it. One one moment. Uh, let me also refresh a chat. No, Kerr, I appreciate that. That's you you are A-OK. -okay. Okay, there. There we go. That has been on! Don't shoot at me, that's rude. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to snipe at Mina's? Jeez. Excellent. And the gods said they were angry at me. Can you believe that? Know how angry they're gonna be. I'm just how could they be angry? Yeah. We like BFFs. I really need like better weapon stuff though. So. Like if I could get some chainsaws or you know multicast 
some some stuff to maybe like make a make a combo going on. That might be cool. Yes, we dig. We dig through the ice. Uh, heavy spread. Okay, this is multicast. This is not what I meant when I said I wanted more multicast, though. I feel like I like timer more than the collision trigger. This only has Mandarin a 16 though. Maybe I'll just remember that's there. Joyous, thank you for the for the uh, four bits. Does that does that put you at number one for bits? Show me. It doesn't show me right there. It does put you at number one. GG. GG number one. Uh, this course says there are opt-in rules and the pins of no access. Oh, I haven't figured out what I want to put here. So. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Queen, GG number one on bits. <laughs> one day, I'll rem <laughs> remove the placeholder audio. More specifically, what I'll probably do is leave it for everything except for, like, like under a certain amount and things that I've set to other values. But that's okay. Oh, I haven't figured out what I want to put here, so thank you. <laughs> Kerr, thank you for the for the three bids. <laughs> oh my gosh. We have we have Kerr in third with three <laughs> Oh, hey, we actually have like some spells. 
always cast Petrify. That seems cool. That actually seems like it might be bad a little bit, but... Who am I to judge? Uh, Queen, by the way, that... I'll have to double check. But that's probably because I tweaked some channel things at some point. Uh... No, but I thought where it said that was, uh... There's some optimals in the pins of no access. Should be the pins of general, I thought. What what channel does it say no access in? Let me go see where that is. Oh, I haven't figured out what I want to put here, so thank, thank you. you. Okay, I fixed that. Fascinating. Uh, I see why it was linked to a channel. I... <laughs> That's very silly. Okay. It's been fixed, though. Also, I think... I don't remember if I fully set it up, but I think... Uh, other stuff should be set to the whole, like, uh, onboardy little welcome sign thing. But there's, there's more stuff you can do outside of that, so... Okay. So, we had a time, I don't know if this always happens, but we had one run where I observed that there was a max health up behind this. Let's see. So I don't know if there's always a max health up behind this, but that, uh, oh, there's just a lightning dude over there. Not anymore. Not anymore is there a lightning dude over there. We cheated! Yay, cheating! This can't, this can't ever cast the, uh, the poison arc. Okay, if we have Plasma Field, part of me wonders if we actually need the black holes. Um, also... Ah. I 
I kind of want that other one for the multicasting thing, so I'm like, maybe we should leave black holes behind? Uh, that's tough. It's also getting late. Uh, I might wrap up for tonight so that I can wake up earlier tomorrow. Let's go up. I want to double check and make sure the plasma can dig through. Pronoun picture picked message is too high. What? That doesn't make sense. You should be able to click on the message in the pins and it should take you to the full message. What does too high mean? I don't know what you mean by too high. Oh, does it make, it makes the little, it makes the little, uh, like, sub-message, right? I think the sub-message, and you can't do it from the sub-message, I see, I see. Hold on. There you go. I think the original one should still work even though another one gets created. Okay. If not, I'll fix that later. Eventually, um, I'll probably try and switch it, like... Um... Oh! Sh Queen, you fine. Um, eventually I'll switch it to just the, like, Discord's built-in role selection stuff. I just was messing with that. I actually want to edit the modding server to use that. Um, actually, we were talking about that. <laughs> we were talking about that like earlier today. Um, but the the modding server we want to use the like built-in Discord way to do it now. It's just really obnoxious to set up, um, which is why I like I, I set it up on my server to test it. Um, but I want to, like, use that to set up all the pronouns and stuff, but I haven't done that yet. Especially because Pronoun Picker, even though, even though Pronoun Picker is, like, an official Discord bot, it, um, is, like, not, like, always online. It's, it's kind of odd how it's been handled. Digging with plasma is akin to brushing your teeth with a shotgun. It's fun to do, and by God, it works. But your dentist won't recommend it because he won't get a commission from the toothpaste company that are bribing him to sell you toothpaste and electric toothbrush and all other sorts of dull ways. Many torn hygiene. I see, I see. Also, every time I've tried to dig with plasma, I've killed myself. Which, you know, was only like twice. But, uh, that's two more times than zero. Bob Ross called my color sachet pink. Excellent.
You know, I, I just want to point out, I'm pretty sure there's still a Steve, like, in the room to the right. We are just avoiding that Steve right now. Oh! not go up that way. Zeldakins, thank you for reminding me not to die. Ah, Jesus Christ! I accidentally walked into the plasma beam. Oh, oh God, the plasma beam. Can I even see? Oh, you don't see the UI in this, so I don't get to see just how much I accidentally just donked myself for. Highly effective, highly dangerous. It's true. You were at 127. I lost 100 HP, basically. Oh, goodness gracious. That's unfortunate. Uh, no, the broken command is, did. The broken command did successfully remove after the ending stream. I, I think I, I said it that day, and I I think that what it was is it just uh, like I think the bot kind of keeps a memory of certain things, and it like doesn't fully remove stuff from the memory sometimes while you're streaming. So we got like, oh, we will work on making a little tunnel up. I also wish the cherry were just like wild. So we could go get the, there is an HP in the dark room we haven't gotten. We could go get that. Um, but there's also like an HP for going down. Now that we know that we can go like, back up easily without limited uses, um, it actually might be worth going down. So like descending again, going into the next uh, holy mountain, getting getting our upgrades from that, um, and then healing from there, and then going up. Yeah, I, I should probably do that now. Uh, so here's the thing. We're very low on health now. There's going to be a Steve. We must watch out for Steve. We need to kill that Steve. Should we bring this with us? Is this... This probably wouldn't kill Steve. I want this for the triple. Uh, but like a black hole might kill Steve. I feel like a black hole would eat through Steve. We could always come back up for this.
Plasma might be effective as as well. Seeing as it sent you, <laughs> that's true. We could we could try and plasma uh, Steve. We have to get significantly closer to plasma him though, which I don't really like the idea of doing. Mana to damage? Only 20 uses, though. Circle of Buoyancy. Ah! Not work. That did not work. You killed my fish. Why? Alright, well, we're down to 100 health again. So that wasn't perfect. That was uh, pretty terrible, honestly. That I was thinking he would die a lot faster, and that we would have found a rhythm of dodging a lot faster. So... Hmm. Gamble. No more shuffle. Well, I know, I know there are those who think that Gomble is the correct move. And you know what? Eventually, eventually we'll get to a state of Noita playing where maybe we always pick Gamble. Um, you know? But, 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 I, how am I going to pass on No More Shuffle? Like, I know, I know, and I feel like if I were better at the game, I would pick Gamble. I just feel like I'm still at a point where I'm going to need to take every, like, actual advantage I can get. You can't always pretend that no shuffle's not there, it's true. Um, alright. I think everyone in chat, close your eyes, we're going to gamble on which one we pick. Okay, ready? I'm going to close my eyes too. It'll be completely... My eyes are closed, trust me. Wow, my eyes are so closed right now. Which one did I choose? Uh, oh my gosh! Holy heck! Oh my gosh. It was, it was, you know what? It, I think it was, it was no more shuffle. Wow. Wow. Impressive. <laughs> it could be anything. It could even be shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, 
Anyway, everyone can open their eyes again now. It was amazing. Fascinating. We randomly, we randomly chose no more shuffle in that pile. Dang. <laughs> I wish so much that I could, like, click on these and read them without buying them. Alright, well, we could mess with stuff now. Um, oh yeah, we have to go back up to get that uh, triple thing. Reduce spread. I assume this only works if the multiples are like are shot at the exact same time. Like. That's not what I'm doing. Yeah, so it does. Nah, it's okay. I... Most of them I kind of know. It was more of just like, um, there's like a couple like circle of buoyancy. Like I kind of want to read because I haven't had that, but it's okay. Okay, we should probably make this our digging wand. Oh my god, we've angered the gods again. That's okay. They were already grumpy at us. Oh, I don't want to go in that one. Ah! Why is the eyeball right there? Is the eyeball always right there? I feel like it's not always right there. At least we haven't enraged the gods. Then they would be so grumpy. I almost jumped into that again. God, this is... This is a really dangerous way of digging. I am gonna get myself so killed by doing this. It's just not normal that I, like, don't move forward. Okay, I do want to get ready for bed, though. I... This was proof of concepts. If I wanted to check this, um... Uh, Queen, if you're on my Discord, there is a games, uh, Discord forum channel. There, in that, there is specifically a channel, like a sub-channel, for, um, uh, Noita. And that channel I do not open. I've never opened it. So it exists, uh, but it is for spoiler chat. So, if you have any... Any Noita discussion you want, it is assumed. It is based on my playthrough, so technically I would prefer, like, you know, if it's something I haven't experienced you want to ask about, use spoiler tech. 
that's how like other spoiler ones usually work so that if there is someone who wants to discuss things in that channel that still doesn't want the greater game uh, uh, spoiler it's not like like that but but yeah that would be that would be the place for it My plan, that that little section technically has gone through like a little bit of changes, but uh, my plan is for that to always be a place where if I'm playing like games like this it can be spoiler chats. Originally it was going to be where like I posted like notes about like while I was playing games, um, but then I was like it doesn't really, like it makes more sense to have that be spoiler chats until I'm done with the game and then like general chat for the game. Look at this boy. Yes, you. You're a boy. Hello, boy. <laughs> All right. He is the boy. But yes, I I'm gonna head to bed. I am very sleepy, and don't want to sleep in all, uh, like, morning tomorrow. But, uh, get up! Gotta do, gotta do some CE stuff in the morning, and then, uh, I don't know if I'll start right with Noida tomorrow. I do want to probably do Hollow Knight Rando, which might be tomorrow? I don't know yet. We'll see. What the heck? Bjorto started up Teardown and I didn't notice- what the hell? Okay, well we're gonna go see Bjorto because I'm probably gonna fall asleep to Bjorto playing Teardown. Anyway, thanks for hanging out everyone. I hope you all have a good night. Um, there's, there's probably going to be probably Hollow Knight tomorrow. It really depends on how I feel. Um, but there might be still Noita in the evening. I kind of want to play more Noita every day, in all honesty. So, we'll see. Anyway, have a good evening. Also, I see that there's bit cheers, but uh, it won't do... <laughs> it won't do that in this scene, I'm sorry. <laughs>